Once you guys, today we're taking a look at an all-in-one PC. Now, this is a Orange Pi 800. It's a knockoff from the uh, Pi 400. As you can see here, inside the box, you're going to get your user manual and the actual all-in-one computer. It does have the QWERTY keyboard on here. So this all-in-one PC has the Rockchip RK3399, and uh, it's a very powerful uh, processor in here. It's a six cores and six threads. And it runs at 1.8 gigahertz. You're going to get your user manual, which will tell you exactly what this can do and what it can't do. It does come with four gigabytes of LP DDR4 RAM and 64 gigabytes of eMMC storage, which is built into the actual unit itself. It does come pre installed with an operating system, but you can use micro SD cards and USB flash drives to install your own choice of operating systems, which I'll show you a little bit later on. So on the back of the device, you can see it's orange because that's the company branding and the Orange Pi 800 is the logo. So let's have a look here at the speaker here. We have the Type-C power interface and the 26 pin IO interface with the analog audio here, VGA port, HDMI interface, micro SD card slot, a gigabit ethernet port on here, also a USB 2.0 and two USB 3.0 ports on the back of this device. So it's got plenty of connectivity on here. Now, before we have a look at this unit, let's have a word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro OEM key to activate Windows, then you can use the links in the video description, head over to their website, create an account, and use my uh, promo code, capital B, capital R, 09, and uh, apply that to your order, and you'll get a 35% discount off in November. Once you submit your order, they will send you a key. You can then go to the activation center and activate your version of Windows. So let's get back to the review and we're going to take a look at the specifications. So let's quickly cover some of the specs that we haven't covered, which is the Wi Fi dual band 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz uh, Wi Fi. Also, Bluetooth 5.0 is also available on here as well. So the uh, GPU on here is the uh, Arm Mali T860, which is a pretty decent um, GPU. Now, I think one of the plus sides of the Orange Pi 800 is the fact that you could just plug in some power and use your wireless mouse and give it a display, and away you go. It's pretty lightweight and uh, it's a really nice little compact space saving unit. So, what would you use this for? Well, you could use this pretty much for uh, light office use. You can use it for watching movies, browsing the internet, and you can do it for like office duties like uh, Microsoft Office and things like that as well. It does have a dual screen 4K HD uh, video output on here, which means you can run uh, dual monitors on here. But entertainment, home theater, uh, family, and also office, which is what this unit is designed for. So when you power it on for the first time, it does have a operating system preloaded on here which is your Orange Pi OS, but you can actually use other operating systems, which I'll show you a little bit later on. You can run some uh, photo editing like GIMP, which comes pre-installed. So am I saying this is going to replace your desktop computer? No, it's not going to replace your desktop computer. But if you want to do some light edits and some light photo manipulation, or maybe uh, do a little bit of light graphic design, then you can do, as long as you be realistic about it. It's not going to replace a desktop computer but it's not meant to. It's a really useful little PC. Now you can install Linux on here as well, and you can also install Android in the future. I think they are going to be releasing an Android version. I'm not sure what uh, version they're releasing, but you should be able to uh, get this up and running with Android and also Linux if you wanted to. So let's take a look at the streaming here. So this is streaming 120 Mbps 4K, and you can see it's uh, running OK when we're streaming this down. So let's go ahead and stream another file, which is going to be a little bit more taxing, which is the 400 Mbps 4K. And uh, you can see here, uh, this is 10 bit and it struggles a little bit. Now, this is a 1080p file that I'm playing here. So if you wanted to run 1080p uh, movies, you could do that quite easily. And these are running from the actual device itself. And you can see it's silky smooth, no problems whatsoever. So bear that in mind when it comes to streaming and playing video files. I found some video files 
uh, would get choppy with certain players. So choose your player that works well for you. Now, I did say about Linux, so you can run uh, Manjaro ARM Linux on here as well. You can install it from their website. There's an image on there. You can download it and get it installed onto a micro SD card slot and basically boot up and use Manjaro on here, which is very nice. Now, the weight of this device is only 385 grams and the dimensions are 286 millimeters by 122 millimeters by 22 millimeters. So pretty slim line uh, little unit here. So slightly bigger than the Pi 400 but it is a pretty small little device. Now, this is going to be great, as I've said, for surfing the web or doing uh, video meetings, a little bit of light entertainment, watching movies and things like that. I think that's a, a great way of using something like this. Now, looking on their website, it gives you all the information on there. I'll leave the link in the video description and it will give you much more detail than what I'm actually giving you here. And they also have a few images up on their website already. They're going to probably add more to this. Uh, but I'll quickly show you uh, their image page. You just go to the main page with the link in the video description and click on download and you should see all of the offerings that they have. So you can see Orange Pi OS Droid and we have uh, Ubuntu image, a Debian image, a Manjaro image and you've got a bunch of other stuff there. They will be adding more to this, I think, in the future because this is pretty early doors for this particular device. Now, if you're wondering whether this can actually play retro games, it can do, it can handle those no problem at all. And I'll give you a little sample of some of those right now. But it will play a lot of your uh, retro games from your childhood. If you're as old as me, then you'll probably remember a lot of these games. And you'll be able to play these on here. You can tweak it and get it set just right how you want. You should get 60 FPS for a lot of the games if you set it up right. If you're upscaling the quality, then it may eat into the FPS but you should still get enjoyable gameplay for all of your favorite retro games, whether it be PSP games or whether it be, uh, you know, older types of generation games. You should still be able to do that on this particular device. Now, just for your disclosure, uh, this product was sent to me for review for free. Uh, all of the opinions in this video are my own. No one is viewing this video before its release and all of the links will be left in the video description. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall see you on the Discord server uh, for a chat if you're on there and uh, I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.